Nigeria army to entice soldiers with free houses to stop them from resigning from the terrorist military organization. Hear the news in details. Wonderful people of Biafra, lovers of freedom all over the world, you are welcome to Biafra Unite Channel slash Television this very moment. Today's date is 20 of april 2024 and i have a very important information for every one of you listening to me right now from where you are all over the world dear friends and lovers of freedom i want you to pay very good attention to this very news because it's very very important i can assure you my people this very news is for those soldiers serving under the zoo army or should i say under the zoo terrorist military in the zoological republic of animal kingdom nigeria and you are from the southern part of the zoo especially those of you from biafra land serving under the zoo military i want you to pay attention to this very news because I have a message for you. I have a very important message for you, but before I deliver my message to you, I want to read the news in details first of all. And as you can see on your screen, I will be reading from Daily Trust, a zoo Gotha media outlet. And according to their headline, they said, Army to build personal homes for troops fighting insecurity. The Nigerian army says all arrangements are already in place to build befitting personal homes for all soldiers fighting various forms of insecurity in the country. <laughs> Mad people everywhere. Mad people everywhere. They want to use free houses to entice soldiers, the military personnel. <laughs> fighting the so-called insecurity that they themselves created in the zoo in order to use it to take over the people's lands all over the zoo and these very terrorist organizations were built by the Fulani politicians and Fulani top military personnel in order to use it to take over the land so that they can be able to dip their Quran in Atlantic Ocean according to what their great-grandfather promised them Ottoman Danfodio. Now let's read. The Nigerian army says all arrangements are already in place to build befitting personal homes for all soldiers fighting various forms of insecurity in the country to serve as their abode after retirement. This is all about enticement, I can assure you. There is nothing new here. It also said, premiums paid to beneficiaries of various insurance schemes to cater for troops' dependents in any eventuality have been doubled without any corresponding increase in contributions. Listen, like as I said before, this is strictly to entice them. Nothing else. Why are they not giving you these free homes now, now that you are still serving and you are still alive? Although, like as I said from the beginning, I will have my words to them, especially those of you from Biafra land fighting or serving under the zoo terrorist military. Pay attention. The Chief of Army Staff, Lieutenant General Tauri de Labaja, made this known at the opening of the first quarter Chief of Army Staff Conference 2024 in Abuja on Tuesday. Labaja, a three-star general, expl a three-star general without fighting any war. A three-star general explained that the Nigerian army is implementing new welfare initiatives to boost and improve the morale of troops. To boost and improve the morales of the troops. So, this is just a mere promise. A mere promise to the so-called troops. To the so-called troops. Now, they promise to build befitting homes when you retire. Not when you are serving, but when you retire. <laughs> Just like as I said before, it is nothing but a mere enticement. A mere enticement to the so-called soldiers or troops. Especially for the idiots. Those who cannot use their brain. And they continued. He said, 
the affordable home ownership option for all soldiers is one such measure aimed at alleviating the hardship soldiers encounter in securing personal accommodation during post-service life during post-service life the army chief said he had directed the post service housing development limited phdl to set aside five percent of the ahoas scheme in each state for allocation to soldiers with operational related disabilities he noted that this is a way of making the scheme inclusive and sensitive to the plight of soldiers with such challenges adding that the Nigerian army will cover all the housing expenses at 100% for the soldiers. Now, I have, a, I have a question. You see, they said this just to, according to them, they said to boost the morale of the troops, right? It is already open. They have already exposed themselves for saying that word, for using that word to boost the morale of the troops, the so-called troops, right? Now, you want to boost the morale of the troops which they have said that shows that they are using a mere word just to entice the soldiers look at it here to boost and improve the morale of the troops because if you are serious if you are serious you have to begin with the retired ones already because listen let me make it clear they said these houses or these homes will be given to soldiers when they retire when they are retired from service then the house will be given to them right now there are thousands of so old soldiers or ex-soldiers who are already retired why don't you begin why don't you start with these people who are already retired why don't you start giving them their you know these homes right now at least to prove to the serving ones that you mean business because these retired ones these old soldiers as we usually call them here they served the zoo they served their so-called country with all, all their hearts they defended their so country with all their hearts they fought insecurity as well because this insecurity did not start from today <laughs> they fought insecurity so to show that you mean business to show that yes what you are saying is exactly what you are going to do start giving the retired old soldiers these houses right now so that the serving ones or those who want to resign will see that you mean business so that they can be able to rethink and revisit their you know their decisions why don't you start giving i am saying it now it's like education why i'm saying it is because i know that they cannot do it <laughs> we busted them we know i personally know that they cannot do it that's why the title says to entice to entice the soldiers and stop them from resigning you know from the military yes because i already know what is going on so if it's not to entice them if it's not to make them not to resign hmm, start giving these houses to those who have already retired who have served and are already retired from the military many of them today are homeless many of them are old soldiers they are drinking alcohol up and down because they have nothing to show they have nothing to write home about they have nothing to show that they have served their so-called country but in the other countries in in the western world when you are a retired soldier you can never be poor in your whole life in your entire life even your family your next generation will never be you know be, be poor because the government will take care of you we, 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 in fact what the government will do for you will even entice others to join the military but here in the zoo the reverse is the case they can never do anything for you rather they will promise you and at the end of the day now who you go home now nah? Who are you going to hold responsible? The person who is making this promise today is the current chief of army staff, Labaja. <laughs> By the time or before you even retire from the military, this stupid man, this idiot that made this promise must have not just, you know, stepped down as the chief of army staff, but retired. Because if the zoo continues, if the zoo continues existing as a country, then the next government will come. The next government, or should I say the next president, if the zoo continues as a country, 
the next president or government will not just take this you know leadership from this man but he will take this leadership from this man and give it to another person and then resign this man there is no any new president that will sustain the old service chiefs it has never happened before even this Tinubu retired them automatically he retired all of them both the police chief the military chief the all of them all of them the air force the navy all of them and he appointed new ones that is why this labaja of a man is now the chief of army staff he wasn't the one before Tinubu. and those one who were the military chiefs are all resigned they are no longer <laughs> in power they are not even in the service anymore so by the time you are retired from the military this chief of army staff will no longer be in the service are you going to go you know to his house and ask him Oga, where is the house you promise us <laughs> mad people everywhere idiots resign now if you want to resign resign now especially if you are from biafra land because <laughs> i am sending it to judgment just like others thank you my people i make it go viral